Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel Skyrim and the Dawnguard DLC quick and dirty playthrough. Okay, so having braved the Soul Cairn in the Beyond Death quest, we've got the Elder Scroll we needed, that plus Serana Scroll and the one we have for the main quest line, and it allows us to go and see Dexian in Fort Dawnguard and start the Unseen Visions quest. So let's crack on. Oh, and if any of you like my videos, please leave a like and comment and share them around with anyone else you think that like them, uh, as YouTube makes my stuff quite hard to find. Anyway, moving on. Let's go find good old Dexian. I bet he's having a barrel of laughs at old Israel. He's a miserable git, isn't he? And here he is. I trust your journey was successful. Oh, let's take a seat. Oh, get away, Cedric. I trust your journey was successful. I've brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. Why, what's happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects. But I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. They're covering on your I'm... eyes, are you? Yes, I'm afraid so. Can anything no, be done to help you? It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriel's bow? Not much, to be honest. What do I need to I do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming I'll forget it then. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just tell me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract ancestor moths to you. Once enough of the moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the in bark, how? Tradition, you must use a specific tool in the ancestor glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? The scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Is it normal for moth priests to go blind? It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll. And even then months to recover well as I how's a moth related to the elder scroll it's no mere coincidence that we're named moth priests the voice of the ancestor moth has always been an integral part of reading the elder scrolls Moths barely make a sound let alone speak oh the moths don't literally read the scrolls but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. How does that help By the moth priest? Ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. 
Then how do I even stand a chance? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Yeah, yeah, it looks like I can go blind, yeah. See you later, mate. I'm off. Okay. Let's go and uh, get blind. Great. I've helped you all that I can. The rest is up to you. To be fair, he's moving around pretty well for a blind bloke, isn't he? Anyway, let's crack on, guys. Yes, Ronald, we get there, mate. Okay. Now, it's actually very near um, uh, Ancient Ascent, if you've been there. If not, Falkreath. Uh, and I think that's probably the easy way. So go from Falkreath would be my suggestion. And here we are by casting the uh, magical spell of editing. Uh, we're at Ancestor's Glade. So let's uh, crack on in. Now, I'm doing this uh, for the first time. Actually, no, sorry, I'm lying. It's the second time, because uh, I did it the first time and there was a glitch where I couldn't get out. So, uh, but I'm doing it exactly the same way. It's ever so easy. I'll be prepared, spoiler alert, but be prepared for a, a, a quite a tasty fight. Yeah, that door shut on me uh, on, on the first run through and uh, I couldn't get out. And uh, I don't, I still can't see any way of opening the gate. I don't think I looked before and I, I can't see anything. Oh, I'm sure it's there. Um, somewhere. Anyway, doesn't matter. Literally run all the way down to the bottom. Look at this place. No one's been here in centuries. Okay, run straight to the middle. And pick up the draw knife. Run to the tree. And harvest a canticle bark. Okay, now you've got to just run around uh, collecting moth swarms. So if you see a whole load of moths together, run towards them, hopefully you get a swarm. Look at them. There you go. Right, once you've done that, um, I found this out by, um, just by accident, literally run up these steps. And you'll pick them all up on the way. Here you go, two. Three. Just look for the swarms. Four. Five. Six. And one more for luck. And seven. Now head straight back down into the uh, light, the light beam. Yeah, I got lucky, I just did that mistake, I was just running around, I just managed to hit them all. Okay, this time I'm waiting for Serana because she got locked outside in the gate. Uh, I forget last time. Okay, so make sure she's with me. Okay, now we'll read the um, blood scroll first. Blood scroll, read that one. Oh look, pretty pictures.
free scrolls, scroll thread. Don't worry, I'm fine. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's in a place called Darkfall Cave. We can put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? The scrolls gave me its exact I location. My father has a chance to track us down. Okay, we complete unseen visions. And we're going to uh, be starting touching the sky quest, but before we do that, we've got a bit of a scrap, so get ready. And you're going to get door back to by a load of vampires. Yeah, I've got strong fire resistance on my boots, girls. Don't bother. Watcha. <laughs> yeah. Between my death crew here, these guys don't stand a bloody chance. <laughs> yeah. Job done. Okay, let's go and uh, rob them. What they got? Lockpicks, nom nom, vampire dust. Gold emerald ring, yeah, nom nom. And what do you got? Vampire dust? Yeah, you're rubbish. Right, Cedric. Oh, vampire thrall, lockpick, nom nom. Gargoyle brutes. Cross garnet, bone arrow. That's Cedric's good work there. And uh, that's it, guys. Head on out. Okay, so we've got the uh, uh, Touching the Sky quest uh, coming up, and that's where things get a bit more serious, where we go to Darkfall Cave. And um, you want to go get yourself well prepared for that, because it is quite tough. Come on, guys, follow me. And out we go. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope you found it interesting and useful. Please leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you at Darfur Cave. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.